What's up YouTube? Card Fight Fine Glasgow and today I'm doing a deck review on Spike Brothers. Um, I never really paid attention to Spike Brothers for a while, but my friend said he had a deck. I played it and like, you have to trade with this. It, I find Spike Brothers a really fun deck. They're very aggressive. Um, in my view, they can, in a way, counter Link Joker with just all their effects, which I'll explain in the end. So, first of all, the starter is Mecha Trainer. Um, when a Spike Brothers rides him, you, you, you move him back, and his effect is counter blast one, kill him. If you do, search your deck for one, grade one or less, Spike Bro, and add it to your hand, but you have to re reveal it, then shuffle it in your deck. So, effectively, you just search a perfect guard with him, which in the Japanese meta, he's currently on a warning. Because they banned Barkle for Royal Paladins, which effectively was a superior ride blaster blade or something. And they got rid of Conroe, I think his na name is, the Kagro ver version of this. He's also banned, so so we don't know what's happening with Mecha Trainer, but if he gets banned, I'll be a bit upset. Just a bit. I'm going to go through the tr tr triggers first. So there's four heal. Sadly, there are two of the pretty and two of the other one. But oh well, heal triggers are heal are heals are heals after all. I would prefer two two or five, but you can't be picky with heals if you ask me. If you, if 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 just get the triggers that when you, when you need them. Um, there's four silence Joker, the the critical trigger, and you stick them into the soul, and if you, and if you do, you unflip a damage. So it's been he's saved he's won me a few games. Also, and here's another two Sonic Breaker, two more crit tricks. Um, we have two of Cheerful Links, just a generic jaw. And oh, that's the deck box I just hit there. And four of the Cheer Girl, Pauline. I like her just because she's cute as well. And she came into the deck, and she came with the deck. They are four. Wonder Boys, the 8k generics, he's, he's to, to be honest, he's something ideal to ride in this deck. Because A, he's an 8k generic, and B, with the combos I can get up to, he can be over 20k, which I'll go over as the video go, goes on. There are two, Machine Gun Glory, I think her name is. Um, count, it's, her effect is Counter Blast 1, after she's boosted a Grade 1 or Grade 2 Rear Guard, you even can Counter Blast 1. You draw a card and you put the boosted unit to the bottom of the deck. So if you need to draw, just count, just count to the last one after she boosts. Really there if you want some hand size or something. As much as the other effects go, oh, shuffle the deck in that. It depends what you want to do. But I use it to 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 draw some some sometimes. No, nothing wrong with the extra draw. There are two reckless express. So, Soul Blast 1, when he attacks, I can pay the cost. If I do, he gets an extra 5k. But at, but at the end of that battle, he's shuffled back into the deck. So really, it's Soul Blast 1 becomes 12k, becomes 12k attacker. So that puts up pressure with your opponent, kind of kind of early game. And if you want something out of the soul, you do it. And of course, just to follow generic perfect guys, cheer, cheerful girl Marlin. I am going to change it with the damage on unfl un unflipper because this deck can be counter blast heavy, and I mean quite counter blast heavy. So for grade twos, we have four frozen ogre. Um, when um his his cost is counter counter blast one, put 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 him into the soul. But during the turn, but but during the then in turn with my vanguard legions, at the end of the battle, the this attack to vanguard, I can pay the cost. If I do, I search my deck for a card and superior call it and then shuffle deck. So if you pay attention to the wire running of this card, there's nothing stop, stop stopping you calling another copy. So you can just go, well, one's in Legion and you've got two left in deck and one field and you just go attack, soul, call, attack, soul, call. Very good for aggression if you ask me. Puts up a lot of pressure on your opponents. There are four Silver Blaze. He's Soul Blast 1. If my Vanguard is, is in Legion, I can pay the cost, and when I do, he gets plus 10, 10 to 10k, and then he's shuffled back into the deck. 
that's only when you attack the Vanguard by, by, by the way, so alone, without the bizarre combos I can get up to with, with the deck, he's 19k, he's 19k alone for one Soul Blast, but I'll be going over combos in a, in a minute, which I should actually put the combo cards in a set in a separate bit. There is three high speed Baraki. He's effect he's effectively the same as Reckless Express. Soul Blast one when he attacks plus five K then goes back into deck and deck and shuffle. He's he's good for for for, for pressure as well. And two Dudley Mason. Countable blast one, stick him into soul. If he hits I can pay the cost. If I do, so P would call a spike bro from deck. Yeah, I was just double check on him. He's not that bad. I might change him to be honest. But he's there for on hit pressure as well and something to ride at grade 2. Because to be honest, I don't want to ride Silver Blaze or Frozen Ogre. For grade 2s, I run one Juggernaut ma maximum. I only run one because I can just superior call him from deck and he's really there for just stride. Just to pay for the stride cost. But he's the same as Bracky and Reckless Express, Soul Blast 1 gets 5k, just the grade 3 version, so he becomes 16k alone. Again, that's without the fun, the, the fun combos. Gonna um, I run for Dead End Dragger, who's 15 quid now, I think. Well, in the, well, I think he's 15 pound now in the, in the UK, I don't know how much he is elsewhere, but... His skill is Limit Break 4, when you ride a grade 3 spike bro on top of him it gets 10k and when one of your spike bros regards attack that, that unit gets 10k and uh, and then it's shuffled back into the deck. No, it's put to the bottom of the of the deck after the attack. So you just go so you just break break ride and then when, and then and then whatever card attacks you get it gets a plus 10k, which again is pressure so if you, if you don't have the ideal com, com, combo, you, you can call Jug Juggernaut Max Maximum 26k, Reckless Express or Bracky, they'll, be, they'll be, be going over 20, 20k. And for the other grade 3s, it's 3 blood, Bloody Yoga, so when you bef so when you Legion, um, when you real good attacks, they get an extra 5k, but this is only when he's Legion. So it's on. So so it's on the turn of emulation. It's not like a, it's not a turn later. It's only during that turn. But his other effect is countable at blast two. Two choose a card from a hand. Stick it into the soul. And when this attacks the vanguard, I can pay the cost. If I if I do, superior call a card from deck. So really, if I don't have frozen ogre in in my hand or that, um, I can just call it from for, for from deck for, for for to counter blast. And his mate is actually frozen ogre. I, 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 I forgot to say, so really if I don't have Frozen Ogre in field, Countable have Blast 2, stick a card card in Soul, just superior call from deck. It helps a bit, this, and I, it helps a bit, yeah. I run straight in this, so I run 4 Godly Speed Flash Bruce, Bruce yeah. um, when he hits a Vanguard, I can put a card into my Soul, call something from deck, I get, I get, it gets an extra 5k until the end of the turn. So really, if he so really if he's out, I call something like Juggernaut, ma 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 Maximum, or, or I can call Bracky, or Reckless Express. It's just depending on my situation. I mean, if Jug if Jug if Juggernaut's not in the deck, it'll be most likely Bracky, because then Bracky becomes a nineteen k attack. I do call Reckless Express, but believe it or not. And I also run four of the Divine Hand God and Dragger, which is which is new, which is not long since out, I think. Um, so you counter blood blast one, choose a card from my from from my hand and stick it in into soul. At the at, at the end of the battle, that this attacks a Vanguard. If I have this in the heart, I can put him back into the G zone, and and search for two grade threes in a deck. I choose one of them. I superior call one and choose one as my vanguard, but I have, but I have to call it as rest. So really, if I'm so if I'm on limit break really early, and I can't legion for for whatever reason, I will legion into into divine hand, attack with divine hand first, and if I've got something like Bracky or um, yeah, main, yeah, it's mainly Bracky. That's about or. 
Moses, or, or, or whoever's on the rear guard circle. Um, all the triggers go to go to that one, and then superior call, then superiorize this, and superior call this, and then because the break ride will kick off, this would be on twenty six when 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 it attacks. Well, whatever's here will definitely be over twenty k. I you don't really need to run more than two in my view. I mean, I originally was gonna run one, but but my friend went here. You want this, and I went well. I'll run two and just see how it goes. So I'm gonna go over the combos briefly here. So the main combo of the, of the deck is this. I'm just get I'm just getting them all out. So what you do first is that you'll break ride, so that so this is already on twenty twenty one. Then you'll seek the mate for this. And you'll usually call this from hand. Um, so so at this stage, when a rear guard's going to attack, I can't feel my right wrist. wrist. So when the rear guard's going go to 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 attack, he's not attacking for nine k; it's twenty four k. So then you so then you attack with this. Hit if it hits or not, you counter blast one, stick him into the soul. Then you just call another one, do it again. Call the last one, stick it in. If I was a bit cleaner at this. And then you'd call something out like Silver Blaze or something. Because then when Silver Blaze attacks, it'll be on 20, 20, 20, 24. Then you'll pay his Soul Blast cost. So he'll be on 34 for alone without triggers. But you don't have to attack with this as soon as you call, call it out. Because you can always. Because if you've got the spare count counter blast, you'll attack with the vanguard, and then superior call. Oops, sorry. Then you'll superior call an another one from deck. So then any trigger you get from 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 here can go to any of these, mainly because he states when he attacks, so it's before the trigger check and everything. So really, these guys can be hitting for about forty uh, k. I've, I think I've had one on 50k at one, one point, I think, because I had Wonder Boy as a booster. Where did he, where did he actually go? Because uh, I had Wonder Boy as a booster at one point, and I got two triggers, so usually he would be on 24, 34. For, yeah, yeah, I had him on 52, I just couldn't remember the math. I had, I've had him on 52k, I think, before, I honestly don't remember. But I think it was over 50k, hang on. 24, 34, 42, yeah, because I got two two triggers from this at one point, and this was on 52k. Which, really, when you break right in Legion, that, that's when you want to kill your opponent or trim down their resources like hell. Because if they're on 4 or 5 damage, that's the most ideal. Mainly because you can't deal with a 24k attack three times, then... Uh, 30, can't do math again, then a 32k attack from both of these guys alone before triggers and a 30k attack from him. So they can't deal with all this at once unless it's a local think tank or something with a lot of draw power. But, but the other advantage with Spikos as well is that once their skills are done they just go back into the deck. So if you're playing against stuff like Kagiro, Narukami, hell, even Link Joker, they don't have tar they don't have targets to destroy or, or lock, so that's kind of ideal. So like after you break right on Legion, you you you're gonna have an empty field. But this isn't so good against Shadow Paladin with Diablo, because with Diablo you have to retire to 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 even guard. So even if you've got boosters about, that's fine. But just be warned, if you're against the Diablo and Diablo lives, you'll have a hard time next turn trying to survive. And the deck is good. It's a bit expensive now that the fact that Bad End Dragger's £15 each, I think, now, so that's 60 quid. Um, But overall, the deck is quite fun. I do believe they came second somewhere in Worlds. I need to double check where it was, but they came second some 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 in rules. Not this build, but but just spike rules in general. Um what else? I think that's about it, so we'll see you soon.